Praise the name of the Lord. Shalom family, God bless you. Welcome to my YouTube channel, everybody. I am excited to have you here. Today is a good day that God has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Hallelujah. Family, as you know, I am always very excited to bring the word of God to you. Every time God gives me the opportunity to bring his word, I'm super excited. Welcome in Jesus' name. Now, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, to those of you who are seeing me for the very first time. And I am the man that God uses. And I'm here with a fresh prophetic word. God bless you. Shalom. If you're family, you always come back to watch our videos. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. You've seen the title of the video. The Lord says you should not hide this anymore. You cannot hide this anymore. It's time to let them know. When I got this prophetic word, you know, I was... I was grateful to God because I think it first ministered to me. Um, it really did minister to me. And I'm trusting that as you listen, God is saying something and you're going to get it out. The Lord says that you cannot hide this anymore. First of all, the Bible tells us, I believe in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1, it says to everything there's a time and there's a season for every purpose. I'm going to read that for you just in a minute. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, it says to everything there's a season rather, and a time to every purpose under the heavens. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. You see, so the world that we operate in operate by time, different times and different seasons. What time do you live in now? Only God can tell you. That's why prophetic words like these are very important because God then shares with you what he is actually talking about. Right? The Lord is saying, this time, it's time to come clean. It's time to come clear about what you're all about. You know, there's a time to hide the thing. In Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 20, the Bible tells us uh, about that time. That there's a time to conceal a matter. Let me, let, me, let me quickly get that scripture for you. Again, I did not want to read all these scriptures. I just think I have to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 26. Oh, the word of God. Verse 20 says, listen to this, listen to this. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut the door about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the ignition be overpassed. God is saying, hide. There's a time to hide. Right? There's a time to hide. But there's a time to reveal. In John chapter 7 and verse 3. The Bible tells us it was Jesus' disciples, it was Jesus' brothers, his own siblings. In John chapter 3, let me show you. Please follow me. Just I know I'm reading a lot of scriptures, but I want you to see. So John chapter 7, I'm, I'm sorry. John chapter 7. In verse 3, the Bible says, His brothers therefore said to him, Live here and go into Jerusalem. That your disciples may also see the works that you are doing. Verse 4. For there is no man that does anything in the secret. That seeks to be known in the open. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. This is his brother telling him. So you are looking at the different times. There is a time to hide. There is a time to show yourself to the world. There's a time to separate yourself. There's a time to reveal. The Lord is saying, you've been quiet about your giftings for so long. You have sat down in a place where somebody else is, has done less than what you know you can do. You have capacity to do. You are a chosen one. 
you have an assignment. You see. Your eyes have been opened in the realms of the spirit. You see. God says you cannot be quiet about this anymore. You have grown to a point where you need to tell. Tell the world who the Lord has made you to be. I'm seeing a situation where um, somebody has been revealed a lot. And God says he told you not to say anything. But it's time. In this season, he's going to begin to send you to talk about the things that you have seen. You know a lot. You know a lot. And he has told you to be quiet about the things that you know. Until this moment. And God is now saying, get ready. Because there is going to be an attention, a visibility. He's sending the nations to come. They will begin to hear what you have to say. It's time. It's time. I pray that this word lights up in your spirit and God, God gives you direction by this word. I pray that you receive this word with gladness. In Jesus' name. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you. And shalom.